Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to optimize Windows 10 performance by making a few minor tweaks and it should be a pretty self-explanatory tutorial so we're going to just jump right into it and we're going to start by opening up the start menu just by left clicking on it once. Now you want to type in system. Best match it comes up should say system directly above control panel. You want to left click on that one time now on the left side you want to left click on advanced system settings right here underneath performance visual effects processor scheduling memory usage and virtual memory click on the settings button right here you want to select adjust for best performance so click inside the circle right here and now you can play around and enable certain performance settings that you might prefer to make it look a little bit better the windows operating experience However, the best ones that I found would be to enable the last one here. The smooth edges and the show thumbnails instead of icons. And if you click on apply and OK, it should make a few minor appearance adjustments and it should improve your performance of Windows a little bit. I'd also recommend if you go back underneath settings and you go underneath advanced, you want to adjust the best performance for programs. You want to make sure that is selected. And underneath virtual memory, you want to click on this change button right here. Underneath automatically manage paging file size for all drives, you want to uncheck this box. Select custom size right here. And now you can see there's a recommended paging file size. This will be different depending on how much RAM you have installed in your computer. I only have one gigabyte, so that's why it's giving me 1024 megabytes, which is recommended. I'm going to type in that amount into both the initial and the maximum size here. So 1024. I made sure both of them are the same as the recommended paging file size. I'm going to click on the set button and then I'm going to click on OK to save the change. It's going to say the changes you have made require you to restart your computer before they can take effect. I'd recommend just clicking on OK at that point. And then I would also recommend restarting your computer as well and then hopefully your performance has increased a little bit especially now that you're using some virtual memory so I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out speed up your computers a bit and as always thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next tutorial goodbye